Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 3, Episode 13, no, 14, Episode 14, The Boiling Rock. And the uh, last episode was the Firebending Masters. Um, Aang and Zuko went on this journey to this um, temple, Wana, to learn the secret of firebending. And then they met the dragons. And then the dragons imparted on them the wisdom of what firebending should be. And then Zuko is now able, well, both of them are now able to do firebending. So that was awesome. And yeah, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And please consider supporting my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Trevor Mini. And now let's start this episode. And here we go. Wait, it's 46 minutes? Okay, so there must be two episodes together in here. I'm not going to react to both episodes. At the same time, I'm just going to watch the first one today and the next one some other time. So, yeah. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Is this episode going to be about helping Suki and the dad? Escape. The Golden Rock, Part One, Chapter Fourteen. How are you gonna say just? It's not gonna. F Look at him serving them tea. Oh, Suko has gone so much. Wants to go after Suki. Papa. What the fuck Of course, you are planning something. Right. Is he going to try to sneak out in the middle of the night to go in there and then Zuko is going to follow him? Uh-huh. Oh, mama. He's trying to get... There you go. <laughs> yes, he does. Really? A bonding moment between these two. <sighs> no. They're boning over girlfriend troubles, oh my goodness. Wait, are you telling me that Suki is also on the... What's it called again? Global Boiling Rock? Ah. Yeah, it's boiling. Here I was thinking that you have water, you shouldn't you have brought <laughs> Shouldn't Katara have been here to hide? No, he doesn't. 
He said he's playing it by ear, so he clearly doesn't know what he's doing. The costume. Cheat sing. Really? He's happy to do that, all right? Ooh, so firebenders are also prisoners there? For some reason, I thought there wouldn't be firebenders as prisoners in there. Like, it would just be all the other firebending. What did she sing to? No, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course there are going to be criminals in the Fire Nation. Uh, oh, people did seem to be criminals. I don't know. Oh, he's a firebender. So he needs, he ended up calling him. Prison break. Ah, what an awesome show. There's gonna be a prison break. Bazooki's gonna be here. Suki? I knew it. I knew when they said that father wasn't here, that Suki would be here. <laughs> How? Why are you coming so well? Huh? They're gonna jump on her. They're gonna tag team her. But where are they gonna pull her though? Oh. Okay. I guess he's playing along. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that though? Oh, she's saying it's gonna be in on it. <laughs> oh, I tell the guards. Mm hmm. People are gonna know. The Prince Zuko is in here. Well, I don't know, well, whatever. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Is it going to stick with the plan or is it going to wait? It's going to, I about to say, is there going to be enough space for all of them? Suki's gonna stay too. See? Ah. Uh. <sighs> you messed up. You messed up big time. Is his father gonna be in there? Oh man. His father? Father? Oh, daddy. Okay, and that's gonna be the end of the episode. Yep, that's the end of the episode. Twenty to fifteen, whatever. <sighs> Aww, I love that last episode was um Aang and um, Zuko, I guess, basically. Um, bonding, you know, going on this adventure by themselves and bonding as they go there you know and then this time is um Sokka and uh Zuko I wonder if we're gonna have an episode with Zuko and uh, Katara as well because you know there's more tension between Zuko and Katara than there are between Zuko and any other person on the squad so yeah um I hope there's gonna be an episode like that for those two but then this episode, you saw the previously, and it was about Zuki, uh, Zuki, Suki, <laughs> Suki, <laughs> and it was about Suki being captured, right? And his father, Sokka's father, being captured, and I'm like, okay, so are we still gonna see, see Suki this episode? But wow, oh, he was serving tea. Zuko was serving them tea. I love that scene. While he was serving tea, Sokka asked to speak to Zuko on the side. And when they got there, he asked them where, you know, war criminals are being captured, are being held captives. And he told them about the boiling rock. And he made it seem like he wasn't going to do anything about it. But of course, Zuko did not believe him, you know, and I didn't believe him either. And during the night, he was trying to sneak out. He was going to try to take Appa to go there. But then Suko was waiting for him. And he told them that Appa's not going to be able to get him there. And that they needed to take their um, balloon war. War balloon. Yeah. War balloon over there. It was so awkward. <laughs> when they were by themselves in the war balloon. Like, there was... When they tried to... I don't know, just trying to break the tension. They were talking about the clouds, and then there was a moment where Sokka was whistling. Oh my goodness, that was so funny. And then they started talking about their father, and oh, they talk about their father during the war balloon thing. I don't know, but they bonded over how the he's trying to get his his not dignity. Um, why am I blinking on the word? Honor, yeah. They both bonded over trying to get their honor back, I guess. And then they got, <laughs> when they came to the ball in rock, because the air inside the balloon was the same as the air outside of the balloon, they couldn't like keep floating, so they basically crash landed. 
on to the rock. At least there was this. They didn't crash into the water because it would have boiled and died. But there was this rock over there or something. This land that they crashed onto. And since they're not going to be able to use the war balloon to escape anymore, Saka pushed it down the water so that there's no trace of them having come there. And then they wore this fire bending outfits to try to blend in with the guards. And then when they got there, there was this thing that was going on. And then they all, the guards all went there because there was this prisoner, Jit Sang, that supposedly was trying to escape with his fire bending. But I don't think that was the truth. I think that main guard was the one that basically lied about him. And then um, he got put into the cooler where it's so cool that you can fire bend. And um, you had Zuko, right, trying to gather information, trying to see if there were war prisoners on the boiling rock. And they're like, no. He figured that there was no one there. And as he was trying to think about a way to make Saka feel better by saying something that um, Uncle would have said, <laughs> each time he goes into that mode, like, Uncle will say something something like this in this particular situation. I love it. Because he's been with Uncle for so long and he misses him. So each time he comes to sort of like, is it a crossroad or something? He tries to remember what Uncle would have said in that moment. And what he said <laughs> about this liver chance, I don't know. We were, so, so I was like, it didn't make any sense. But he got hope because he saw Suki among the prisoners there. I knew that's what was going to happen because after um, Suko told him that the father was not there. I'm like, okay, he couldn't have done all of this for nothing. So Suki must be there. And he was there. And he got to see her. And then they came up with a plan to... Well, as they were there, Suki and Sokka. <laughs> Sokka Suki. <laughs> as they were there in her, her cell, and Zuko was standing guard, there was this woman guard that came. And because Suki, Sokka was in there, Zuko tried to stop the woman and to get um oh the names Sokka to escape but then the woman saw the Sokka and then he she asked for his help so he played along. I don't know for some reason I thought that Sokka was gonna help Suko and they were gonna overpower the guard and maybe stuff her somewhere. But no he played along and then they captured Zuko and then the actual leader, I guess, of the prison showed up and it turned out to be my May's uncle. Why am I saying my? Turned out to be May's uncle. And he's like, he's not gonna say anything to the Fire Lord for now, probably because he wants to maybe torture him first or something to make him pay for making for, for breaking May's heart. I guess. So Saka came up with a plan to use the quarters to escape. And he said he saw this particular blind spot where they can launch the cooler. And as long as they don't make any sound, any wave, they're going to be able to escape. And then you have Chi Sing listen to their conversation. So he basically blackmailed himself into the plan. And they were like, how are we going to get this cooler? And then he, he took out this wrench. And it's like someone needs to basically unbolt the cooler from the inside right and Zuko they created this scene where Zuko used fire bending and then he got stuck in the cooler and then he unbolted everything and then they're like okay it's time to go but then they hear this news that there's gonna be this um new wave of war new wave there was gonna be these war prisoners that are gonna come in so he's like okay is my dad gonna be among those prisoners and he's like, no, he can't wait. He can't sacrifice Suki's escape for his father. So they went there and as the others were getting 
well, was the others? Well, when they got there, he tried to make it seem like, well, no, he tried. Suko tried to, he asked him, like, once again, if he's sure about leaving before he knew for sure if his father was going to be among those war prisoners. And he's like, had he quit during their attack, the evasion plan, had he quit early enough, they would have been, they wouldn't have been captured, basically. And Zuko just told him, nah, you know, like, you have to fail and fail and fail again to water. I, don't know. <laughs> I forgot how he phrased it. But he basically made him realize that he's gonna give it a chance. And I knew Suki was not gonna leave. And Suko was not gonna leave either. So the other um Chi Sang and his girlfriend, another person, I believe, they took the cooler to go away. And these dudes It's like this thing is too slow. He took off something, they tried to you know, roll the cooler away, but then he got burned and then he squinted and that just alerted everybody and now they're putting the prison on lockdown. They recaptured them. And then you see the war prisoners being brought in and Saka was like so anxious. He's like, please don't let me have done this. Don't let me have sacrificed this escape plan just not to have my father be here. Like that would majorly suck. And I knew he was, well, at first I thought, when he said that, I'm like, okay, they couldn't have made Sokka give up this escape flame for nothing. You know, his father has to be in there. And then when the people were coming out and then it's like, oh, that's it. And I'm like, really? That's it? And then it's like, you get off. I'm like, sure. Oh, I thought he was son there. Oh, he didn't do this for nothing. His father was there. So now it's going to be like, how are we going to get? How are we going to create? What kind of escape plan is he going to, you know? use now now that the warden or whatever are wised up to the fact that these people use the cooler to try to escape they're probably gonna shut that down so they're gonna have to come up with another plan so what's that plan gonna be unless um if Saka and the others are not coming back Aang and the others are gonna go out to look for them and maybe they are gonna be part of the new escape plan to try to get his father off of the boarding rock so yeah i don't know we'll see thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe but um, if you want to see my reaction to episode 15 you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full info of this reaction there as well so thanks for watching and i will see you next time Woo!